Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. The Blue Jackets start with possession as we are now underway. Quick feed to Jenner. Here's a chance in front, and that's stopped. Georgiev's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Gaudreau is good at stick handling. It's his puck on a string zone ability, and that's how he manufactures offense. McCarr is a key blue liner, not just because he defends so well, but because he can add additional offense. Those are two players I know I'm going to be keeping an eye on tonight. Let's see if one of them can give their team the upper hand. Guys, back to you. Picked up along the boards by Jenner. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Goudreau. Sends a pass over. Quick pass to Goudreau. Colorado's got control of it now from their own end. Off the left wing and into center. Oh, and that's poked away in the other end. Columbus moves ahead with the puck. Moves it quickly over to Jenner. Slides the puck to Nijuskin. One on one with the goaltender. Oh, what a stop between the pipes. He is dialed in. He really is, James. The shooter's in a position to deliver the puck to either side of the net. And it's like the goalie has got everything smothered. He's right on it. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Cuts into the paint. And he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. Wierenski's trying to change a few things up. This pointless streak is starting to nag at him. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Still looking for our first goal. The Blue Jackets win the faceoff. Here's a chance. Stick save and a view by Georgiev. That's a really good save. I think the goalie's probably surprised. He was dead center and open to shoot that puck. The centermen glide into position. Femstrom's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Close, but not close enough. Gets the puck in deep. Columbus tries to break out from their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. And he slides it quickly to Bumstrom. Off a stick and they can't connect. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Sends it across the ice. And now he angles it across to Manson. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Blue Jackets have it against the wall. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive. O'Connor. Columbus has the puck. Passes on over to Peak. Puck dumped in. The Avs have it behind the net. And he feeds it down to Cogliano. Columbus gains a hold of it. Nice speed at center moves up ahead now. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. Grabbed along the board by Wagner. Poked away in the neutral zone by Sillinger. Takes a shot. What a stop as he puts out the fire. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. The Blue Jackets will play it in their own end. And now it's over to Olivier. Poked away at center by Manson. The Avalanche have the puck in their own end. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Hunt's got it in the offensive zone. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. score here guys one way he can do that is by using his zone ability to get them going let's see how it goes here the blue jackets win the draw looking to break out here on the power play and the puck skips away after a nice defensive deflection taken by peak dunks it in the Avs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Tosses it to McKinnon. 
The abs carried along the wall. Here's a scoring pass. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Cutting to the slot. Let's go. Right with the man advantage. And they make it quick. The rebound snapped away. What a nice shot. But the goalie's got to do a better job cleaning up that rebound. You can't leave it right there. Colorado's got the game's first goal here in the opening frame. Pretty tightly played game so far. Not a lot of chances. Not a lot of errors on either team. But now we got one. Maybe the game will open up. Puck scooped up by McCarr. Dumps the puck in. Sends it over to Wierenski. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. The Avs pick up steam and are on the attack. And he stands tall in goal. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Rantanen's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same. You wear the same suit all the time. Picks up the puck in his own end. Up along the wing. Colorado's got a hold of the puck now. Feeds it over to Johnson. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And here comes the judgment from the official. No bad timing, James, to take a penalty. I mean, there's no real great timing, but a one-goal lead is not the time. We know this power play has struggled finding their identity, but practice makes perfect here, and we know they've been working hard on this. It's the first power play of the game. Let's see if the efforts will pay off here. Oh, much respect as he blocks that one. Moves it to line A. Chase in front. The Blue Jackets could have used that one trailing in this game. A bad break hits the post and stays out. Columbus plays the puck along the board. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. And makes the routine save. Feeds the puck across to Goudreau. Shot! That's gloved by Georgiev. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Lekkonen's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Columbus takes possession off the faceoff. Oh, what a bad save by Georgiev. They move the puck out of harm's way. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Here's a short pass to Line. Scooped up along the wall by Boudreau. Puck grabbed by Line. Quick shot, and that one's denied. Georgiev's gonna smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? Colton's ready to join the play. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Got to give the penalty killers a lot of credit as the penalty expires. They score! His first of the season! Always want to get off to some kind of quick start. You get one in the bank early, it's amazing how it takes a little bit of the pressure off, even though there's a long season ahead. He's got his head up the whole time here. As he's dangling his way into open ice, he knows that there's another play that needs to be made. He makes that. Eventually, this puck ends up in the net. Here in the late goings of the period, Colorado's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. To the front! It scores! You give up one, you can't fold. You gotta punch back, and they get one quickly after giving up a goal. It's like that old song, I get knocked down, but I get up again. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Nice job tying up his opponent. There's a shot. Oh, stopped with the pad by Merce Leakins. 
taken along the wall by Byram. Quick feed to Wagner. Colorado's got it from behind the net. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Fires it on net. Big stop just as time expires in the period. 20 minutes in the books. Let's grab a breather and we'll come back with period number two in months. chance to recharge and the official set to drop the puck here on period number two second frame is underway as the puck is dropped quick pass to line a moves it in front and that's intercepted stretches one out to rantanen centering feed oh and he just couldn't properly connect with that shot colorado's on the attack Musa quickly over to McKinnon. Cuts to the front. Puck picked up by Goudreau. Moves it on over to Boquist. The Blue Jackets have it now. Columbus brings the puck in from center. Musa to Nijuskin. Nice zone entry on the left side. Denies him on the slaughter. Merce Lickens off to hang on to it to get a whistle. You start to wear down a little bit. You need your goalie to help you out. Lots of time left in this period. It's a 2-1 hockey game. The Avs take possession off the faceoff. The Blue Jackets scoop it up along the boards and tries to make a diagonal pass to Rostovic. And that's knocked away. And that pass doesn't go. Here we go, pucks in deep. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Colorado's in on the offensive attack now. Picked up along the wall by Manson. And now it's grabbed by Gerard. Oh, he stops him with the glove. Great reflexes there. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Colorado's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Manson's got the puck. And he takes the feed. Nears the blue line and looks to set up at the point. And he slides it quickly to Gerard. Grabs control of it at the point. And that's broken up. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Drouin. Stop with ease. Carries the puck up through center. Poked away in the neutral zone by Drouin. Colorado's got the puck against the half wall. That's not going to fool him. Sends the pass over. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Colorado's got the puck. Drouin's got it through the neutral zone. Puts it in deep. Colorado's got possession of the puck. Hunt's going to play it against the half wall. Gets a pound on it. What a stop by Merce Likens. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Picked up along the boards by Byram. With the puck inside the defensive zone. The Blue Jackets gain possession in their own end. Oh, and a smart heads-up play with the bank pass. Feeds the puck over to Bryson. Here's a feed in front. Oh, and he whiffs on it. To the low slot. Gives them nothing in front. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. Colorado's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. Grabbed along the board by McCarr. Face-off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Yeah. 
And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers strummed up. Takes it to the front. That pass doesn't go. And he takes the pass. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Here's a feed in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Taken by Jenner. Here's a chance, sends it in front. And that's intercepted. Poked away at center by Bayreuther. Colorado's got control of the puck. The Blue Jackets gain possession along the wall. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. The Avalanche have it in their own zone. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Merce Lickens has the puck, and he'll wait for the faceoff. I think that's a pretty heady play. There's been a little bit of scramble around him, and he jumps on it. They could get reorganized. Here in the later stages of this period, it's 2-1. Puck scooped up by Bokvist. Here's a short pass to Colton. Can't make the connection on the pass. Dumps it into the Ozone. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Colorado's gained the line and into the zone. Makes the ball stop. Merce Lickens is going to wait for a breather as he swallows up the puck. Well, now everybody can get themselves back to their square one position. I mean, it was starting to look a little ragged in the defensive zone. It's a good play by the goaltender. Columbus wins the faceoff. Receives the pass. From the open ice, they gain the line. Dumps it into the other end. Takes the feed. Colorado's through center and now in the offensive end. Chance in front. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. Now a quick pass to Johnson. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Manson. Takes a shot. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. Takes a shot. Denies him again. Merce Lickens is on top of the puck, stopping the play. Looks like he's seen enough. The potential to start running around in your zone causes him to cover the puck up. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. The Blue Jackets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. Ray Ferraro is at ice level, and Ray, as third period action gets underway, give us a sense of how you've seen things tonight. Columbus can't expect much more than what they've got. Low shot, a low goal total, and now you got to chase the game. Back to the blue line. Blocked in traffic. Pass broken up. With possession along the wall. Makes a move in front. Fantastic save. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Scooped up along the wall by McCarr. Colorado's moving it into the offensive end. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Players tell us all the time that they don't know where the next milestone is. That's garbage. They know when they're one goal away from a plateau. I think he's looking for it here. Stays with it. The Blue Jackets will play it from the defensive zone. And he takes the dish. Puts it on net. And not much on that one. Georgiev's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Still plenty of time left in this frame. It's 2-1. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Takes it along the wall by Manson. 
Columbus has it in their own zone. Can't get a hold of that pass. The Avs move the puck in the defensive zone. On the attack along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Manson. Quick feed to Bede. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Georgiev's going to cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes the safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. It's a 2-1 game. The Avs take possession off the faceoff. Good fight for the puck along the boards. And a heads-up kick pass over to his teammate. Quick pass to Johnson. Picked up along the boards by O'Connor. Big time defensive play. From off the wall and onto a stick. From the point, looks to make something happen. Pad save. He's on it tonight. Puck possession so critical. Another face off coming up here. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Georgiev is going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James, he needed a cover there. The Avs win it in the defensive zone. Just bashes them against the boards. Don't worry, James, you're safe up there. Down here, that sounded like a car crash. A howitzer! hasn't been boring. I mean, it's low scoring, but man, there's been a lot of chances at both ends of the ice. We've seen missed chances combined with great goaltending, and that gives you a low scoring game. Can't make it work. And now he moves it to Drouin. They've got numbers. It's a two on one. Merzlikens decides to cover it up for the whistle. I don't mind this. The game's tight, and you want to make sure that the decisions you make are the right ones. Too tough to make up a bad error now. Past the midway mark in this period. The Avs are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Hoquist got it against the boards. Intercepts the pass. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. The Avalanche have the puck against the boards. The Blue Jackets take possession in the neutral zone. Columbus has it in the defensive end. And now he tries to get it across to Olivier. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Moves it quickly over to Sillinger. Woods moving it ahead. Poked away in the neutral zone by Sillinger. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Now the best defense is to play some offense as well. This is a smart play. With the lead, he dumps it into the corner. Now he can forecheck a little bit, try to kill some clock. Columbus with possession in their own zone. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Gerard. Fires in. Big time save. Oh, he is looking good in there tonight. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Colorado's coaches aren't having too much of a decision about who to put on the ice. Hey, it's the top line, again. And that's because they control the play every time they're on the ice. A lot of people were excited to see this head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Do we have a winner? Carla Bain standing by with her answer. McCarr's getting my vote here, guys. I know it's been a tough night offensively for both of the players that we highlighted, but I think he's been effective even without getting on the score sheet. Oh, it serves up a little too sweet with that save. The play doesn't die in the stick, James. There's always a next play for him because he works his way around the defenders. He's got a good chance here again, but the goalie makes a good save. Hangs onto the puck. Oh, how scores! Really good effort here to continue to push along 
try and find a way to crack the defense. They've done it, and this game is tied. Absolutely clutch! The Blue Jackets have tied things up late in this third. Really tense finish coming up. Now you don't have much time. It's a late goal and a win, or does it push to overtime? Puck grab by Girard. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. The Blue Jackets scoop it up along the boards. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. The Avalanche have the puck in their own zone. Here they come up along the wing. Centering in front, and that goes off a stick and off target. And he shut the door on that last play. Across the line along the left wall. Columbus gets the puck near the boards. Oh, what a save in front. O'Connor stick handling in his own zone. Keeps hold of the puck. Big chest save as he gobbled that one up with the trapper. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Jenners won a big draw in their own end. Feeds the puck to Goudreau. And it's a quick pass to Jenner. The Blue Jackets gain control of the puck against the wall. There's the horn. That means overtime is looming. Both teams will refresh and will come back with the drama next. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. We've got our overtime picks in. Have you got yours? Because they're ready to drop the puck. Overtime has begun. Ray, I know you love these moments. For the win! And that goes off a player. The Blue Jackets gain control of it. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by McKinnon. And a solid save there as we play on. Now he takes it over the line. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Jenner's into the offensive zone now on the attack. McCarr's got it in the defensive end. Along the half wall with the puck. Goes right to the crease. No one home on that play. The Blue Jackets take it along the wall. The Avs have it now. The game on the line, in on a breakaway! Tremendous stop on the breakaway! Well, there's your game-winning chance right there, but it's turned aside, and the game goes on. Sends it quickly to McCarr. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. For the win! Way too much congestion blocks that. Nice zone entry from the middle. And that snapped away in the defensive end. Looking to end it! Scores! In overtime! They take it! A spectacular night! We need a third effort to win this fan base. They are unbelievable. Wow! He's tight to the net. He doesn't have much time. Snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. Well, a little bit of a mutual admiration society between the fans and the home team, and I think everybody loves this. It's a win-win for everybody. You get to see your players out on the ice. The players get to acknowledge the fans and their support. Just put the wins on the board. You get to go out and say hi after. Hooray for our My name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great night.